Hi, this is Matt Crawford, and this is a video on how to use the Facebook Sharing Debugger. So I'm just going to show you this tool um, right here. So it doesn't look like much. It's called uh, it's called the Sharing Debugger, and essentially you just enter a URL here. So why might you need a tool like this? Well, you might have a Facebook page or Facebook profile or something. So here is uh, my filmmaking lifestyle page on Facebook. So if I just go up to a post here just to show you what's going on. So I've got this post here. So uh, this Facebook group is largely about classic films uh, and I post uh, different discussions around different famous films and uh, cool stuff from cinema over the years. So we've got this post here. So essentially I have these auto comments that go out on the Facebook post. So nothing unusual, nothing well unusual there. But what's happening here and I've left this uh, still so that there's an error here, so there's an issue here. So essentially, this link right here. So occasionally you'll be posting a link on Facebook and you want to know, uh, maybe you've changed the URL. So here, what I actually did was uh, this particular URL right here was re resulting in a 404 error. So that essentially means that page doesn't exist anymore on the server. So what I did is I kind of um, redirected this page. So I did what's called a 301 redirect and I actually redirected this particular page, best uh, dash movies dash of dash all time. And I actually redirected that to a page that exists that happened to be on Oscar winning films. So what, uh, so Facebook is still showing the 404 here. So what I can do, so if you have an issue like this where there's a few different reasons why you might want to do this. It's kind of a small use case, but in general, like I say, you might have had a 404 and recently redirected a page or something similar. Uh, the page might be on your site. It might be on another site. You just want to check the URL for whatever reason. You can use the sharing debugger just to make sure, just to basically see how Facebook is actually presenting that page, what it's actually finding. So what we can do so we can punch this particular URL into here, click on debug. And in just a second, what that's going to do is that's going to search and that's going to find uh, and we can see directly what Facebook actually thinks of this page. And you'll see just like that, we've had a response 200, which means that this page does exist. What it's doing is Facebook has uh, identified a redirect path and it's essentially saying that my 301 that I said here to the best Os uh, best picture Oscar winners uh, has actually worked. So this old URL that resu resulted in 404 has been redirected. So I know that that's true. I know that's true on my WordPress site, on my server. I know that this, has, uh, this change has gone through for real. But now I can see that Facebook, as of 22 hours ago, is actually recognizing this change. So all of this is to say that if you ever post anything on Facebook and you have issues with uh, 404s, with these, these pages not working, uh, something is not quite right and it's not showing, uh, you can use the share and debugger and you can find out exactly what's going on. You can find out what kind of response code Facebook's actually getting from that. So before this was resulting in a 404, like I say, then it went to kind of the weird in between i think it's a 418 the t the so-called teapot issue so that was going on and then eventually it has found and fetched the correct url it has found the redirect and we can see that everything is essentially good here apart from i've got some missing um fb app under slash id properties here but that's all fine and good so you can use the show and debugger for a few different things that is just one particular use case and it's quite a unique i guess uh niche use case you might say uh but yeah if you're looking to not many people know about this if you want to actually use the show and debugger you can see the url here i will of course put the url in the description and if you found this video useful drop it a like uh, share it to anyone you you think might need to find this and for more good tutorials on different apps and different things online uh, drop me a subscribe and like and follow this channel hopefully you found this video on using the facebook share and debugger helpful and it's been useful for you